onion. Now, we just gotta add the chicken and the cheese and then some topping things. So, this chicken's real hot. Really hot, guys. Here's what we're gonna do for this uh, fancy schmancy one. Um, I swear by these two ingredients together, and I thought I made them up, and I was like super great, and then I saw on the on the package for one of them that they suggested putting these two ingredients together, and I wasn't that cool. Anyway, come back down. This is um, I'm using dry tarragon, uh, very liberally. You see? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Lots and lots of dry tarragon. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, no, that's mint. Yeah, and this is mint that we're going to use. Don't be as liberal with the mint, because it's a lot stronger than the tarragon. Yeah. That looks real fancy. Okay. Cool. Let's do some chicken now. I'm just going to use, I'm going to get a spoonula. This bad boy, I'm going to use this. Alright. i got to spread this chicken out over four pizzas, so we're going to see how well I do that. It's going to be really fun. Oh, you know what? I, I got it down. It's good to go. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you what just happened. Um, that hot chicken hit the tarragon and heated it, and then you could smell it, and it smells so divine. I do this as a quesadilla, too, with lots of parmesan, and then I do a balsamic. Oh, crushed red pepper, that's what else we use. This one. Okay, I gotta put two more. Let me just get the crushed red pepper before I forget. You can put as little or as much as you'd like on it. Everybody has a different uh, amount of tolerance for hot foods. Okay, look what we're going to do. I'm just getting cheese. Don't think I've left you. I haven't yet. Oh, man. Don't have any cheddar. Well, this is going to be real problematic. Oh, oh. Really, I guess, should check your ingredients before you decide to, you know, make a whole recipe. I don't have any cheddar cheese. Oh, so I'm going to use American on the barbecue. That's quite all right. Isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. Um, I've just got, you know, American singles here. So we're going to put the cheese on top of this. Now this is... Oh, that's why I said I could do American. No, I lied. That's not going to be a good idea. Um, cheese. This is that imitation mozzarella topping, which is really not the best cheese to use, but that's what I've got. I'm big on changing my recipes around to what I've got in the kitchen. I don't like to make a lot of trips, especially when it's real snowy outside. You don't really need to put too much cheese on it. And then I'm just going to get a, um, a fork here. And uh, look at this. I'm going to take the sauce, get it real soaked, and then just do droplets of the uh, buffalo on top. It's going to look really nice when it uh, cooks. You know it would work really well if you had a little brush. Although, I, I like the excess arm work. It works. Yeah, I get real buff. Um, now this one, on the tarragon crazy one, we're going to do parmesan. And you know what? I think that's actually all I'm going to do for cheese on that one. I think we're going to make it really classy. So, you know, plus that's the end of the parmesan. But I was going to put the fake mozzarella on it, and now I'm not. Okay.
Cool. These two are good to go. Um, we're gonna move over here now. Hi. So nice to see you. Um, and I'm also turning the toaster oven on right now. Um, alright. Now, here. There we go. Okay. We've got these two. I gotta put my chicken on them. French onion. Barbecue. You know, this was the perfect amount of chicken. I don't, I don't always pat myself on the back. I do often. But not always. But this time I'm gonna because I took out just the right amount of chicken for four fantastically fantastic pizzas. Cool. Uh, and I'm gonna nibble on this piece. That's good chicken. Alright, um, next up, we're going to open this other package of the um, fancy fake mozzarella that I have. And we're going to put it on this one, the French onion one. We're going to get real fancy with this French onion too. Watch out, kids. It's a lot of noise. All right. I like cheese on this one. Lots of cheese. All right, so there's that. Or, sorry, imitation cheese. Yes, imitation. Now, this is the fancy part. Look at me. I'm so cool. I just, I have breadcrumbs here. And I'm just going to sprinkle them over the top. Again, use as little or as much as you'd like. Now, what I'm going to do um, is spray it with this uh, butter, like the you know the spray that we use to make sure things don't stick. It gets everywhere, but in theory, that should give us a nice golden uh, brown crust kind of thing. Looks nice, huh? Okay, this one we're going to do the American cheese, and then just wait. Here, I'm going to sit and chat with you because. Um, hi. I'm gonna sit and chat with you because I gotta, like, take this cheese all apart. Uh, here's what I'm doing. I'm just opening piece by piece. I really should have checked. I don't want to use a white cheese on this one, even though American's not, like, you know, crazy good cheese. I mean, it, it it's fine if you love American. It's great. I don't judge. Ow. All right, this is going nicely. I'm just kind of doing it in strips. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Putting it together like it's Jenga. Jenga the pizza. 